Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. I'll tell you what, I have filmed so many updates um, just throughout the time and I just have not uploaded them and I really have no excuse. Um, I've just been so busy and unfortunately when I get this busy and I have to prioritize, YouTube usually takes a back burner just because my family and my school and my work obviously has to come first. But I do definitely want to get back into YouTube and back into filming videos and updating you guys. You can probably hear in the background, the baby is here. I do have a vlog, sort of, kind of. <laughs> well, I've got video footage from his birth I've got to put together. And um, I've just got other videos, too, that I have that I want to put together and upload. Um, but it's just been busy. It's now, what, February 2nd, so happy Groundhog Day. And the baby is five months old now. He is a happy, healthy baby, and um, I will definitely be doing an update with him. Um, I want to post his birth vlog, and then we will do like a six-month update, I guess, and that will be when I introduce him. I don't know. Um, or something. Uh, just to kind of update you guys on what's been going on, I am right now knee-deep in my student teaching. I started January 8th, I was supposed to start, but we hit a snow day, and it's just been crazy with all the weather and everything, but um, I have started my student teaching. I will finish, I think the second week of April will be my last week, and um, I love it. I'm having a great time. The host teacher that I am paired with is really awesome. She's like a veteran teacher, so she's been teaching for a long time, and I'm just learning so much from her, and along with everything I learned as a parapro, I just feel like, you know, I'm in a good place right now. I had my first observation on the 31st, and I actually just received my feedback, um, like, less than a minute ago <laughs> I opened the email and I got all threes which means competent and then I think I got two or three fours which actually means that I've mastered um, and they tell you not to expect to get any fours because that's really like something that like a veteran teacher would would score but apparently I did pretty good on my lesson I um, taught the kids telling time to the hour on an analog clock so we played a game and we did some fun stuff. So <sighs> I'm super excited about that. But along with that comes a lot of work. I have cohort um, like conference calls that I have to attend every week and I'm doing Ed TPA, which is something that I don't think every state does, but it's a it's part of the certification pro. pro part of the certification process and it comes with you know videotaping lessons and submitting lesson plans submitting um, sample work from your students and just so much goes into it so and it's very expensive and important and if I get it done by a certain date my school will pay for it so I'm trying so hard to just figure all that out so of course, since I'm student teaching, I'm no longer a para-pro, which means I am not getting paid for all the work I do, but that's okay because this is just part of it, and I'm excited about it. And, you know, come April, I will have a break. I guess kind of like an extra month that I wouldn't have if I was still a para-pro to be with the baby because I'll have all of April and May, and then um, the summer off. And I'm hoping, <laughs> fingers crossed, all prayers up to God, that... I will have a teaching position for August. So that is the plan anyways. Um, other than that, baby's here like I said. Kids have adjusted well. Family life has been insane. My husband is working the overnight shift. So I've got nights alone with the baby and the kids. Because I'm gone all day, um, that way he could stay home with the baby during the day. It just, you know, we don't really know daycare centers and ha or have family or anything down here, so we're, we're just not comfortable with putting the baby anywhere yet. Um, the big kids never went to daycare. Um, the first time out of the house was when they went to pre-K, so um, not to say that that's going to be the case for Vincent. Um, most likely he will be in daycare at some point, but the plan is to wait till he can at least communicate with us anything um, and everything. I'm just, you know... It's hard to trust your children with other people, and um, especially me because I never did with the older kids, but 
Um, yeah, the plan is to wait until he's old enough to communicate, but at this point, um, we don't know that he ever will until he's in pre-K. Um, my husband is okay with working the night shift, at least for the time being, and we're hoping that at some point we'll have some family moving down here. Um, hint, hint, if you're watching, <laughs> just to, you know, I don't know. We just really want our family here with us. We just, we're in such a better place here in Georgia than we were in New Jersey, and we kind of just miss our family. So <laughs> the hope is there. Um, other than that, I uh, don't know much more that has changed. I'm doing okay. Um, a lot of going to the doctors right now to just get my medication levels fixed up and figured out. I am just, just always tired, um, as you can tell with bed bags under my eyes, and just, you know, dealing with a lot of different things. I've been having a fibro flare up for probably the past three days. I'm feeling relief today, so that's good. Um, my doctor actually upped my medication, so hopefully that helps me. And yeah, but I'm doing pretty well. Um, the kids are great. They're big. Kaylee's just turned 10. Junior just turned 9. I do have a birthday vlog for Kaylee's. Um, I'll have to check with my husband about Junior's because um, they had sleepovers. And so we did a boys only for Junior. So my husband handled that one and girls only for Kaylee's. So I handled that one. Everybody's really just, we're just adjusting to this new, this new normal. And um, we're doing some changes around the house. And we're just trying to fit ourselves in this house, at least for the time being. Um, the goal is eventually to get a bigger place or to renovate this one. Um, I'm pushing more towards getting a bigger place, but we shall see. Yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. The kids are doing great in school. My husband's still working at the same place. He's just working a different shift. He had taken a long um, baby bonding, quote unquote is what they call it, where they, uh, they allotted him time to stay home with the baby. So he was able to stay home with the baby um, after I went back from my maternity leave. And I did go back to being a parapro for a few months before I started my student teaching and um, he's still in the process of getting his master's degree. He's almost done and I'm almost done. And we're just, you know, we're just in this spot where life is hectic and crazy busy, but we're so blessed that we're just so thankful for it. And I'm just hoping that I can get back into YouTube. Um, I miss it. I really, really miss it. And I think about it all the time. And I'm always pulling out my camera like, I'm gonna vlog today. But I mean, it really just goes to nothing because I don't edit it. And so I need to just get back onto it and just kind of fit it into my schedule. And I've decided that that's just something I'm gonna do for myself because after all, YouTube is a hobby that I chose, that I enjoy, and I don't wanna punish myself and not do it. So I'm just gonna have to try to figure out how to fit it into my schedule. Um, my hope is to have at least two videos up for you guys every week. Um, I don't know what kinds of videos. Some of them will be sit down videos. Some videos may be just things about just, you know, student teaching and teacher life. Um, I'd like to incorporate that a little bit into my channel now. I definitely wanna have some videos of the baby and the kids and just life. So um, that's always been what my channel has been, just life. So I might just add in some of our routines and some cleaning and things like that. And like right now my house needs cleaned because I haven't done my nighttime routine, but um, just, just life. And I am so thankful for all my new subscribers and all of the subscribers that have stuck with me through this long, long break. Um, I know that it's been a long time and I know that I haven't updated since basically the gender reveal, but we are alive, we are well, everything is going great, we are just adjusting, and we are busy. <laughs> but I'm hoping to come back now, so I am gonna leave this video at this. I am going to say goodbye, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I will have new content very, very soon. I'm very excited to get back into YouTube. Um, Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.